morning everyone so um today i was kind of sorting out some um stuff that we're going to be taking on holiday with us so jack and i are going to be going to florida in 20 days now which is like really exciting and um, so i was just sorting out some bits and bobs that we've already got and things that we're going to be needing and i thought well oh, might as well do like a what's in my bag sort of um one take vlog um just to show you what we've got what we're taking with us um this will probably be some of it to go in our hand luggage and obviously the bigger liquids and stuff will probably go in well we'll definitely go in our main suitcases um, so Jack and I are going to be taking uh, one um, travel suitcase each for the cabin um, and then one big suitcase each as well for the main flight. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'll show you what we've got at the moment. Um, we're going to Florida um, in, like I said, 20 days. We're going to be doing one day at Disney because we're just trying to catch up with the things that we didn't do last time. So we went three years ago previously. Um, so we're going to be doing one day at Disney which is going to be the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party um, and we've also got one night at Disney so we're going to be staying over at the All Stars movie resort for that one night as well and then the rest of the holiday we're going to be at SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, Discovery Cove, um, Universal Studios, Islands Adventure, Volcano Bay, all of the stuff. Um, we're also going to be doing um, two nights at Halloween Horror Nights as well at Universal. So we've got loads and loads of stuff that we need to obviously plan for. Um, and I think we're also going to do a few excursions as well, maybe do the airboats because we did it last time and absolutely loved it. So um, yeah, we've got loads and loads of stuff that we need to pack for. Um, but for now, I just thought I'd show you what we've got at the moment um, already for our holiday. Um, so yeah, so I am taking with me this really cool unicorn cabin suitcase this i got from b m bargains and it was literally a bargain it was 15 quid and it is honestly the best unicorn one that i've seen so it's got like i don't know if you can see these really cute little unicorns on it which is so so sweet so this is going to be my um cabin bag and jack's just got a plain um i think it's an it luggage one so it's a lightweight one so we could probably put a bit more in his um, than mine. Um, we've also we're flying with Virgin, so we get 10 kilograms to take on the flight with us. So we're quite lucky in that respect. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you what we've got so far um, for our holiday. And I'm literally going to start with my first little headrest or neck rest. Um, I wanted a Disney one because obviously we're going to Florida, um, and they, this was an absolute bargain. I think it was three quid in Primark. So I don't know if they have them still, but it's got the handy little clip on the top so you can attach it to your bag so you don't have to worry, worry about where you're going to put it. Um, so you just literally attach it to your bag. So that's my first thing that I bought. I'm just going to show you my Disney stuff so far, as obviously we're only going there for the day. And I also bought myself some multicoloured ears for when we go to um, Mickey's Not So Scary. We're not sure what we're going to be dressing up as yet, as it is like a trick-or-treating night. Um, so most people are going to fancy dress. So I think we're going to do a little bit of a shop out there. But I thought as these were super cheap, I can't even remember how much, so a couple of quid? Maybe, something like that. Um, as obviously these were really cheap, it doesn't matter if I wear them or not. Um, but I thought they were quite cool. Um, so I think uh, that is my main Disney lot. Oh, we've also got, um, I also got one of these little bags here, these little handy bags which got the cute things. Disney bits on the side which again I got from Primark and in here I've kind of got a little bit over organised so when obviously you go on holiday um, for two weeks you need to take a lot of clothes we've decided we're actually going to take about a week's worth of clothes with us and we're going to wash them when we're out there um, so save us on pennies and stuff like that trying to buy things out there we just don't want to buy too much we want to save our money and obviously if we can bring stuff with us it works out cheaper and in here i've got um all my wash stuff that i need so i've got a couple of sachets of like um wash detergent and the um softener and some tumble dryer sheets in there um and another little bowl of um detergent I think, actually no that's a softener sorry um so yeah so when we're out there we don't have to worry about going to the machines trying to find some change to be able to buy um, all the wash stuff we could just literally chuck it in there and it's done so that is super super easy and we're staying at Rosen Inn at Point Orlando and they literally have really good washing facilities so you just chuck it in and um, the washer chuck it in the dryer and it's all done so that's really cool another thing I've been collecting since we booked this is ponchos and in here I've got 
loads of different ponchos. We're going out in uh, what they call hurricane season, um, so it's very likely that we're going to get rain uh, pretty much every afternoon. Um, so yeah, in here I've got a big selection of ponchos, it depends on the weather, we could just chuck one in our rucksack for the day. Um, and then we've obviously got them, they're all throwaway ones as well, so it doesn't matter um, about keeping them and then having a damp poncho in your bag. Um, we can just lob them, which is quite nice and easy. So that's in that one. Um, also, these are like the, the handiest things I've ever bought. So we went into Tiger the other day, and these are right by the counter, and they are these little handheld fans. They were a pound each, um, which is really cool. And you just wind them up, and it's the noisiest fan ever. But you don't have to worry about batteries charging up or anything like that. And if we're standing in queues uh, without any shade or air conditioning, it's going to be very, very, very hot out there. So I thought these would be quite handy. So I've got one each for me and Jack. And again, they were a pound and they were from Tiger. So they were really handy. Um, I've also got us some American adapters. Uh, and the American ones are the two flat um, plugs that you need. Um, so we've got some of those. I think we're going to be bringing an extension lead as well. So um, for us to be able to charge all of our um, equipment and um, chargers and straighteners and all that fun stuff. Um, to do it all really, really quickly. Because I know the hotels don't have that many as we stayed at before. Um, we'll just bring a, a proper adapter, plug it into this and then we can charge loads all at one go. Um, also with it being so damp out there, um, we've got some mosquito repellent bands and we've got one for each week they last quite a long time um i think it's got it says up to 120 hours um it's effective for but we literally wore one for a whole two weeks last time we were out there and we didn't get bitten so i've got one for each week just so um we've got a little bit more protection and um, so we don't get bitten which would be handy i guess obviously we've got our painkillers um i've got two packs I've got a migraine relief and I've got some ibuprofen. I'm also going to get some paracetamol as well. But most of those things you can get when you're out there anyway. But it's just handy to have. Um, I have already started saving up some of my liquids that I'm going to be taking with me. Um, we're doing one night at the Block Hotel at the Gatwick Airport before we go. Um, just to obviously make our holiday a little bit more exciting. Um, so in here I've put like a little um, bit of my simple face wash, simple moisturiser. Um, so heat defence, uh, some hair cream and some toothpaste so we've got that ready um, to take to the block hotel with us so we've already got some stuff um, and we'll also have like some mini shampoos and conditioner but I think the hotel also provides those so that's not too bad um, so yeah we've got those <clears throat> um, also last time we went to Florida um, Jack decided to wear his vans the whole holiday and his feet were ripped to shreds I mean he had so many blisters I was out there in my comfy Reeboks and I didn't get any so uh, this year I'm coming prepared and I have bought three packs of blister plasters and these elasto past ones are probably the best ones um, but I thought I'd try this other brand as well because it's got a nice fancy little box so I thought they might be quite good whether they are or not I don't know so lots of plasters because obviously we're going to need those for Jack because he's not the most sensible with footwear um, also we're getting on a bit so I'm like late 20s now and Jack's mid 20s so um, we thought our health is probably the best thing we to like think about I guess so when we're on the plane we have got these snazzy um, flight socks the orange ones are jacks and they are larry as anything so I think it would be really funny imagine him walking past you as it goes to the toilet and um, I've got myself some nice pink ones as well and to top this off um, I hate wearing shoes on an aeroplane um, and I hate the idea of also having my feet out so I don't want anyone to think oh god she's got her feet out and that's not the nicest thing ever so I am going to be bringing with me a pair of old hotel slippers so I can literally dump them once I'm done because they're obviously they're freebie so it doesn't matter if they get ruined or um, lost or anything like that I don't feel like I've got any sort of commitment to these slippers whatsoever but they're really handy and um, pop into the toilet on the plane um, it is a nine and a half hour flight so I couldn't imagine wearing shoes the whole time so that is a really handy thing to bring um, last couple of bits I've got is obviously you need hand sanitizer we need loads of that for um, the plane um, and getting on and off the rides because obviously you don't know where everyone's hands is and I'm a proper clean freak I don't want anyone to, um, to pass 
pass me on any germs whilst we're flying. Um, also over here I have got my big bag of wash stuff um, that I've got for when we go. Um, most of this will probably go in one of the big suitcases because obviously they're quite big bottles. Um, but the things that I've got are this aloe vera um, after sun. Um, most of this stuff as well, it doesn't matter if we don't use it. This is the sort of thing that we'll probably leave out there if we don't end up using it all. Uh, original source mint shower gel. I did get myself a mini sun cream because that's just really handy if we're um, to put in our um, like rucksacks to the park. And I've also got a high 50 um, spray on protection one, which is quite good. Um, some shampoos and conditioners. And also we have got the jungle formula. Um, again, to stop us getting um, attacked by any midges or mosquitoes whilst we're out there. So we'll probably have a little spray on our wrists um, and ankles before we go anywhere. Um, also things like dry shampoo and um, I've also got us a little mini mouthwash as well. So um, yeah, I think we're pretty much set on most of the stuff that we need. Um, I know there's a couple of bits and bobs that we need to um, also get. Um, but other than that, I think we're almost ready with all of our little bits and bobs that we need um we'll probably we're not crazy packers so we probably won't pack until like a few days before we go um i might even do a what's in our proper suitcase um vlog and um, if you want to see that just write a little comment below let me know um other than that it's not long now till we go to florida we've got all of our tickets got all of our boarding passes and um, we've got our passes to like the hotels our transfers um, we're also going to the V Lounge um, before we get our flight. Um, so yeah, I think we're literally, everything's organised now. It's not like, <laughs> when you go to Florida, it's not like a normal holiday. So like if you're going to Spain, you just get like your boarding pass, pack your suitcase, off you go sort of thing. With Florida, there's just so much organisation. It, it's crazy. Um, so I've got a proper little folder. I've actually got it here somewhere. Here it is. So I've actually got a little folder with all of our documents in here. So I've put like our itinerary, I've got our tickets from attraction tickets, um, our list of all the things that we want to do when we're going to be doing it, um, um, just so that we kind of have a rough idea of what days we've got what booked. Um, because I just know that if we don't do that, we'll probably forget and overbook and double, double book ourselves because um, that's what we like. We get a little bit carried away. Um, but yeah, really excited now. Not long to go. Um, yeah, really, really excited. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, we will be obviously putting up some videos when we go to Florida. So if this is the sort of thing that you like, we'll do one from probably most of our days. Um, so click the subscribe button. Um, come follow us on our holiday and also we're just a proper crazy couple so if you want to see us doing some um, crazy little challenges every now and again um, also subscribe and um, so thanks for watching bye